Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today we have a special treat for all Outlook users out there. A comprehensive guide to the top keyboard shortcuts for Outlook. So I would personally recommend you to watch this video till end. You will get dozens of those keyboard shortcuts which you have never used. So let's dive in with the first one. If you want to create a new email, all you have to do is to use Control, Shift and M. That will open a new email window. If you want to send an email, simply use Control, Enter. That will allow you to simply send the email. If you want to reply to an email, all you have to do is to select it. You can use up and down arrow key to select it and simply hit Control, R that will allow you to open a reply window on the right navigation section. Similarly, if you want to forward an email, select the email and use Ctrl F that will again open the email on the right navigation section and you can do rest of the things here. So if you want to mark an email as unread, you have to use Ctrl U that will turn your read email to the unread. On the opposite, if you want to mark an email as read, you will control Q that will convert the unread email to read. If you want to move an email to a folder, you have to use control shift V that will open a move item dialog box. Here you can select the folder and simply transfer your email. If you want to delete an email, simply use control D. The mail will be removed from your inbox and send to the deleted item. If you want to open the address book, all you have to do is to click Control Shift B that will open your address book. If you are using a new email, if you want to use or insert a hyperlink to your email, for select the text or area you want to add the hyperlink, hit Control K that will open the insert hyperlink dialog box. And you can do rest of the things from here. If you want to print an email, don't, no worries. Simply hit Ctrl P, the, the most common keyboard shortcut. If you want to search for an email, use Ctrl E. That will open the search bar and you can simply type your inputs here and you will get your required email. If you want to undo the last action, use Ctrl Z, which is very common. And if, if you want to redo the last action, use Ctrl Y, which is very common. Outlook consists of very different segments. So if you want to switch to the different, different segments, you can also use your keyboard shortcuts. So use Ctrl 2, 2 is numeric value to switch to the calendar. You can use Ctrl 3 to switch to the contact. And if you use Ctrl 4, you will switch to the task section. You can also use control five to switch to the notes. You can select from here. If you will click control six. So if you want some help, you want to open the help menu, simply hit F1. I am currently using my FN key with F1 to open the help se section. So now let's understand some different kinds of keyboard shortcut. If you want to create a new appointment, you have to use Control Shift A that will open the new appointment window. And if you want to create a new meeting request, all you have to do is to hit Control Shift Q that will again open the new meeting window. If you are wondering to create a new task, which is very great feature of Microsoft Outlook, you have to use Control Shift K that will open the to-do dialog box directly. You can create your task and save it. If you want to create a new contact, use Control Shift C. That will open your new contact form. Fill it and save it. If you want to create a new note, simply again use Control Shift N. That will open your new note. And if you want to create a new folder, use Control Shift E. That will open your new folder. You can create it, select the main folder, simply save it. 
If you want to open the selected item, use control. That will open your email. Let's have some fun with the keyboard shortcuts in the calendar segment. So I simply click on my calendar. And if I want to go to the previous day in the calendar, use control and left arrow key. Go to the previous week in the calendar, use alt up arrow key. You will directly shift it to the previous week. If you want to go to the next week in the calendar, use alt down arrow key. So go to the previous month in the calendar, use alt shift left arrow key. So if you want to switch to the day view, simply hit alt one. And if you click alt two, you will get two days view. If you use alt three, you will get three days view. If you click alt four, you will get four days view. And simultaneously, when you click 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, that will add a day when you click a key. So now let's understand if you are in the middle of creating an email and you want to create an email using your keyboard shortcuts, how the keyboard shortcuts help you to create a wonderful email. So let's get started. So the first one is control B. Everybody knows it to bold your content. Use control I to make all the content italicis. If you use control U, all the content convert as a underline. Use control C to copy. Use control V to paste. Use control X to cut. But you have to select it first. Use control A to select all the text. If you want to insert the table, use Ctrl Shift L. So if you want to insert the table, use Alt and T. That will open the table section here. You can very easily insert it using your keyboard. If you want to format your content, use Ctrl Shift P. That will open the font dialog box. You can change it. You can design your content. So if you want to open the file menu, use Ctrl F. And if you want to open the edit menu, use control E. If you want to open the view menu, use control V. In case you want to open the insert menu, use control N. And if you want to open the format menu, use control E. That would open your format text menu. Open the window menu, use Alt. W that will open your window menu and the most important keyboard shortcut is escape when you use your escape key that will that way you can jump out from any function or any window these are a few keyboard shortcuts I am personally using it to make my work professional and I hope you have learned some new keyboard shortcuts from this video please like and subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day